Okay, so I'm just going to do a little short update for you guys, <clears throat> if you're wondering what's going on with my car here. Um, I've been going back and forth whether I want to replace this panel, and I just don't have the money for it. So I was trying to line up a panel and stuff like that, but um, I started working on it today, and um, I think what I'm trying to go for right now is just an original panel, and it's not going to be perfect, but I've got the line pretty good. This door still needs to be adjusted, and uh, there's kind of a gap at the bottom, but I think that's going to be okay, actually. And um, basically, that's where I am. So I have this just about where I need it, to the point where I can uh, start closing it back up. The piece that came out, I'm not going to try to put that piece back in. I was watching, uh, I think his name was Fitzy's Garage, and he showed you how to put a piece of panel in. He just kind of like does an angle cut. And welds it as he cuts it. I'm going to try that right there because that's a pretty straightforward uh, spot right there. And then over here, this was a tough spot right here because this was wrinkled really badly. Uh, this whole panel was really, really bashed in. So this was wrinkled. So I beat it to the point where I got hard. And I kept beating it until the point where I got soft again. And so I was using heat on it, but lucky for me in Sacramento, anything that you leave in the sun gets so hot you can't even touch it. So you really want to touch it. So this panel was nice and hot right now. So I was hitting it, and I don't know if you can see that. It's looking like pretty straight, but I have a method of measuring with a stick that I kind of like put some notes on from the other side, and it's really bulged out right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut a slit beat it in and then as I weld it, I might cut one here too, as I weld it, just the absence of that gap from the kerf of the tool might be enough just to bring it in. And this is, it was hard but now it's soft again. So metal kind of goes, you know, malleable and then it gets hard and whatever. So I'm going to replace the bottom. I don't want to deal with all this stuff here. So that's going to be a panel up to about here. At that point, I can get my hand in there and do this, and then do this. And like I said, it's not going to be a perfect panel, but it'll be original. And I just want to get this done, honestly. I just want to get it done so I can... Uh, I need the brake and light inspection. So I got to do the brakes, and I just want to... I'm not even going to fool that engine. I'm just going to pull it out. and Because I want to build it the way I want to build it, okay? But um, I can give you a couple tips that I figured out. That might help you along the way with body work. First tip is use heat. Heat is everything. Second tip, if you just hit the thing, if you just hit the panel, you're going to create a crater. But sometimes you can't get anything back there. So stopping, like if you had a dent, like I have that dent circled right here. If you cannot get to the back, you can put something here, and this simply stops the vibration. And then you can go in and get that dent in without having a dolly behind it. And that's one thing. So stopping the vibration is really all you need to do to, to fix a dent in a panel. Uh, also, when, you, uh, when you're doing this, you don't want to lay into it. Sometimes just the uh, fine touch is what you need. I'm not like a body guy, but I know a couple of things. You guys are probably better at me than I do. But like... I'm just trying to, you know, make this somewhat educational. But try that. Just try stopping the vibration next time you have a dent you can't get behind if it's bulged outwards. And uh, that's kind of it for now. Uh, like I said, I don't really have time to work on my car that much. So I think this is better. This is like, to get this panel to my house is about 400 bucks. And then I would have an issue of cutting it out and welding it back in, which... I don't see a difference in what I have here, just to straighten it up and weld it back. So that's what I'm up to. Um, so yeah, this, this video is short, just to keep it going. So uh, yeah, have a nice day, take it easy.